Hi everyone, I've planned to take this video for a while. I'm on my Skoda, it's doing the DPF regen. I had no idea it's going to do that. It just started doing it out of the blue. This is something I wanted to talk about because a lot of people don't know about it. There's no indication on the car that it is going through a regen, but it is going through a regen. This is the temperature of the exhaust. 642, that's the input gas temperature. 600 on going out of the DPF. So your DPF, if you would be standing over something flammable, that would combust. So you have to be aware of that. Also, the whole process, it takes between 10 and 20 minutes, depending on the saturation of the DPF. In my case, there's a complete mess because the differential pressure, as you can tell, it's minus four, which means the sensor hasn't been properly adapted when it was fitted. There's calculated suit mass and uh, the actual suit mass apparently is different as well. It's still on 27%. I'm just parked outside the house and the funny thing is, if I wouldn't check now if it is burning the DPF, I just thought it might be burning the DPF because I've had the fans staying on last time I knocked it off. There is no indication of what's happening and how it's happening. There is no indication that the, there is a high temperature on the exhaust, which is quite wrong to me. And at the minute I'm just burning the, all the soot away, blowing it into my neighbor's garden. If you drive on a motorway, that's even worse because you're just blowing that into the guy behind you. Somebody is driving behind you, breathing in all the stuff that was accumulated in your DPF for the last, I don't know, 200 miles. What I find odd, I've been driving through Germany recently and I've been going on the Autobahn. Technically, if you're in high gear, low RPM, it should be burning anyway. But for some reason, it was trying to burn the DPF off every 150, 200 miles, despite the fact that I was going constantly on a motorway, which is a little bit contradictive to what they've been telling us. All I got is just a little OBD dongle, Bluetooth OBD dongle. The software I'm using at the minute is this. It's called DPF monitor. If you just click that, it's going to go into, well, select the device and all that, but at the minute it's all selected, so everything's there. It's showing you the current mileage, the current DPF saturation, which is 19% supposedly. This is the temperature, as you can see, it dropped significantly. There's post-injection 1, post-injection 2, post-injection 3. It injects extra diesel into the engine to allow for DPF burning by raising the temperature on the DPF. The only problem is if you're going to knock it off now, all the diesel that hasn't been injected and hasn't been burnt extra will end up in your oil. So this will contaminate your oil. It contaminates oil anyway, but if you would knock the engine off, one, the DPF will stay very hot for a long time. Two, the fans will continue running for a couple of minutes, which was what told me that there's a problem with the DPF in the first place because I had a problem with it but I'll make another episode on that but basically if you don't know what's happening you can actually damage the DPF you can set something on fire by accident without knowing really so having an app like this there are three versions there's one on Android there's one on iPhone I've got the one on iPhone I've got one on the Android as well and that gives you a hint of how full the DPF is and what's the current temperature on it. As you can tell it on the picture it shows it's cold, it's it's back to white so it's not hot. It's down to 19% full and you can tell that the temperature is dropping. Once the temperature drops enough you can knock the engine off. I can knock the engine off now but the problem was if I would knock the engine earlier it would as I said it would dump a lot of diesel into my oil and it would switch off the DPF with the stuff baking inside it and if there would be something underneath the car it could catch fire so it's a great feature to have something like that and I think that should be somewhere on the dash letting you know they do that in new cars now some cars tell you that it's burning off the DPF but this one don't and none of the 2 liter TDIs I know so be careful of that and that's a really good app to have I'll post a link for a similar or same dongle as I've got and I'll post a link to the apps that you can use but it's uh, 
if you've got a DPF on your car, that's a must have. And it doesn't only apply to Volkswagen Group. So Skoda, Audi, Volkswagen, and Seat, whatever what they want to call it now, Cupra, whatever. If you've got one of those, it's best to have it and best to monitor it now and then. It will beep as well when it starts to burn the DPF off and it will beep again when it's stopped. So you know what's happening. Without the app, you're basically blind, which is not right 3D, but there we are. I'm going to make another video on the DPF and possibly on a different car, but for now, this is it. By the way, only 0.6% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel. If you could subscribe and like the video, that would help us greatly, so please do so. And I'll see you on the next one.